So next up, I want to add classes. And we've worked a tiny bit with classes when we studied the plant styles. So let's talk about those a little bit more in depth now. Classes serve two purposes in your file. The first is to control the appearance, and the second is to control visibility. And so what I would like to do is open up the previous lesson where we did the, um, the 2D hardscapes. So I'm going to come into my file and find that. And then once in here, I'm going to pick one instance for each different material and create a class out of that. And so I think that for the for a brick, I'm going to go ahead and pick this hatch. And so I need to know what, what hatch I'm working with. And it is the red brick hatch right here. Classes can be created the exact same way that design layers or sheet layers are created. I can either go into the organization dialog box or I can simply come over here to the navigation palette, right click, and then click new. And for me, um, personally, I like to keep all of my materials together. So for the name, I always call it material dash, and then this will be brick. And then make sure that down here at the bottom, we have edit properties after creation selected. Click OK. And then um, over here, use at creation, I'm going to select that for graphic attributes. Under fill for style, I'm going to pick hatch. And I'm going to click on a specific hatch. And in this case, I know it's this red brick UK stretcher bond. So I'll double click on that. Then my pen, I'll go ahead and leave that as a solid black with a thin line. Then the next step that I need to take is come over here to the textures pane. And here I can go ahead and add a brick texture to the file. So I'm going to need to do that in a couple different places. The first is right here under Objects and Component Textures. So I'll click on that and I'll go ahead and just pick this brick. And then um, walls work based on different textures than say a flat object like a hardscape. And so I'm going to need to come down here under the wall textures and assign that same 3D texture to the left part of the wall, as well as the center part, and the right side of the wall. So there we go. And then I'll click OK, and I have my first material class that I've created right here. So let's walk through that one more time. This time we'll do it for the mortared stone. So I'm going to go ahead and right click New. And then here I'm going to call this Material um, mortared stone. Once again, the edit properties after creation box has been selected. I'll click OK. And now in here, I'm going to check use it creation for fill. I'm going to find that specific tile. And then I'm going to leave the pen as is. For the texture, I'm going to do the same thing. Come over here and for texture, Let's see what we have for stone. And I'm not aware of anything that's going to be the perfect mortared stone. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick something that's simple and gray. Do the same thing for walls in case I ever do a stone retaining wall. Click OK. And so you can keep building up your different material classes. And so what that would look like would be if I come over here in my file and let's say I'm going to take one of these rectangles and make a duplicate of it over here. So now if I come over to the object info palette and under class, let's make this one a brick. And so do you want the selected objects to use the graphic attributes of the new class? Yes, and I always want that to happen. So I'll go ahead and click um, always do the same selected action. And so you can see that it automatically fills in that brick hatch. Um, the same thing is going to happen if I begin drawing with that as my active class. So let's come over here and under classes up here. We've had it set as none. So I'll come up here and just select that brick material class. 
And then anything that I draw with that as the active class is going to show those 2D attributes. So there's that brick. Then if I go ahead and I extrude this, so I'll extrude it to be four inches, click OK. And then up here, and using the flyover tool, you can see that I have that red brick texture that I picked as well. And then just to reinforce this one more time, since we're in extrude, I can no longer see that 2D hatch. And so what I need to do is come up here to Landmark, Architectural, Create Auto Hybrid. And so now I can see this brick shown correctly in both 2D and 3D as well. So that's how classes work and that's why they're powerful is that by having that class in my file, every time that I want to make something out of red brick, I just use that class and it's going to show up correctly in both 2D and 3D. So let's go ahead and just delete some of these new examples that I added to the file. So I've added these classes over here to the 2.1 2D hardscape fills file when I should have added it over here to the untitled 2 because this is where we're creating our template. But I can come back over here to the untitled 2 and then come up here and click this classes icon. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did with the design layers where I click new and then import classes and then choose and then I'm going to pick this 2.1 2D hardscape fills file and here are the um, the classes that are not in the current file and notice that you have this option down here for show only classes that are not in the current document if I deselect that then it shows all of the classes in that file including both dimensions and none so go ahead and check that and then select both of those material classes that I just created and go ahead and I'm going to deselect edit properties after creation because I know those are set up correctly. So I'll click OK and now that's added them over here to my templates folder. So let's go ahead. I want to do one more new class under materials. And so for this one, it's going to be materials wood decking. And I will edit the properties after creation this time. So up here, I'm going to select use at creation. For the fill, I'm going to use a tile. And then in this drop down menu, I can come up to open files and where I see that 2.1 2D hardscapes fill, I can just come and select, I can select the decking tile. So I'll click select there, click OK. And then I made a mistake in how I labeled these. So the original materials that I added to the file, it says material dash brick. And on this wood decking, I did materials dash wood decking. And so I need to pick whether or not I want that to be singular or plural. I think I'll come over here and just edit the wood decking. So I will delete the S, click OK. And now they all belong under the same subgroup right there. I also want to add some of the classes from the plant style lesson. So I'm going to come back up here to the classes organization dialog box and go through that same process. So it's new, import classes, and in this case I know that what I'm looking for is here under the plant list. And then I'd like to include these line weight classes that I created as well as the plants component tags. And I don't need to edit those properties after creation. I'll click OK, click OK one more time. All those classes have been added to the file that's going to become my template. 